Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Time for Two Bit Tuesdays. So I thought I would do something really fun this week. Um, yes, something fun with insurance. Oh, well, I think it's fun. So I'm always teaching my clients how not to pay the bill. I tell you to wait till things go to collections. So I do what I tell you guys to do. So I'm going to show you what happened. So earlier this year, a uh, family member had some labs done in January. Got the initial statement. Okay, it was $168. Ridiculous for what was done. Uh, that first statement was in March. So, put it on my desk. Next month. Ooh, second notice. Yeah, same amount. And yeah, still not paying it. Okay, next month. Third statement. Third notice. Yep, same amount. Put it in my pile. Fourth month. Ooh, the scary past due. Yeah, again, it goes in the pile. Then, yay! The next month, month number five, first collection notice goes in the pile. Next month, six months, next collection notice. Still same amount. Goes in my pile. Now we are all the way to September. Another past due notice from the collection agency. Goes right in my pile. Finally, about two weeks later, after that last September notice, and this is dated September 27th, so 17 days. Oh, so it was actually a week because that one was dated the 20th. week later, I get collection notice. We're going to give you a 50% one-time opportunity discount. Sold. So instead of paying $168 for the labs, I paid $84. Yes, it takes a while. You have to do nothing but open the mail and stick it in a pile. You can choose to try to call when it goes to collections. Sometimes it will give you the 50% discount. Um, I did try calling initially when it first went to collections. They wouldn't talk to me because I wasn't the person the labs were done on. So I went, no, oh, okay, screw it. <laughs> I'll just wait. And finally got the letter. So this is a lab bill. Uh, doctor's offices may or may not do this. Hospitals will usually do this. ERs will usually do this. Radiology will usually do this. So there's ways I practice what I preach. Why pay more for a lab? Now, if you get a bill and it's a reasonable amount, then pay it. But I knew $168 for those labs was ridiculous. 84 is really ridiculous, but at this point, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time, and I'd rather pay $84 than 168 So, until next week, peace out.